Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, today your life will never, ever, ever be the same again. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus. Shall I receive the word? See the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I work on the word. I work on the word. The word works on me. The word works on me. Say it again. I receive the word. I receive the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I work on the word. I work on the word. The word works on me. The word works on me. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 22. Read one go. Now shout it like your voice is yours. But you have come to where? Uh, now, I want us to read it like we are claiming something. Now, let's read it, please, from the New King James. Not unless I shift it and be fast and be focused because I'll be teaching and preaching at the same time. So, be fast. Now, let's shall we read one go. But you have come to Mount Zion, to, to the city of the living God, and to the heavenly Jerusalem. To what? To an innumerable company of angels. Again, the Bible says, but you have come to where? I've always told you this place is where? This place is where? This place is not Bungoma Road. This is our Mount Zion. Somebody say Mount Zion. Mount Zion. And the Bible says that at Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall do what? Possess their possessions. Anytime you come to Mount Zion, there is there are certain possessions that heaven has ordained for you to possess. At Mount Zion, that is the place you are possess. And I know without a shadow of doubt that by the time we live here today, yes. somebody shall possess their possessions. I, receive. I said you shall possess your possessions. I receive. Because the Bible says at Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall do what? Possess yes. their possessions. Anything you are believing God for this Easter, yes. by the time we are through till Monday, yes. may you possess it. I, I said, may you possess it. I, I said, may you possess it. I, I said, may you possess it. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive shout, it. I, receive. I receive. He says, upon Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the Bible says, you have come where? And to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. Anytime you come to the house of God, understand yes. that you have come to a gathering of angels. Mm -hmm. Somebody say gathering of angels. Gathering of angels. Yes, we are human beings that are here also. Angels, angelic beings are literally present here. You may not see them physically with your eyes, but you need to have a revelation that angels are here. Tell your neighbor and say, angels are here. Angels are here. No, no, no. I want you to connect with somebody and say, angels are here. Angels are uh, here. Shout it and say, angels are here. Shout and say, angels are here. Angels are here. Uh, tell your neighbor, angels are here. Angels are here. And he said, you have come to an innumerable company of what? Angels. Next verse to the general assembly and to the church of the firstborn who are registered where in heaven, registered where in heaven, registered where in heaven. Tell your neighbor, my name is registered in heaven. My name is registered. No, no, say, 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 my name is registered in heaven. My name is registered in heaven. So the Bible says we have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly, and to the church of the firstborn. All those adjectives are going back to describe the church, the place, the Mount Zion that you have come. Are you getting me? Say you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly, and to the church of the firstborn. And I've made you understand in the past that at every church, in every ministry, there are angels of God that are present 
in the ministry. You don't, we don't have to pray for angels to appear here. Even when there is no one here, as long as this is a consecrated Mount Zion for us, angels are here. Tell you anybody, say angels are here. Angels are here. I remember two days ago, I was here at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, and um, literally I could see someone here in the corner praying, someone here in the corner praying, and I felt like, wow, people are literally testing after God. 6.30 a.m., I was here, and people were ready to lift up prayer unto Jehovah. Are you getting me? Yes. At every Mount Zion, the Bible says, there are angels that ascend and what? Descend. descend. Somebody say they ascend. They ascend. And they descend. And they descend. They ascend with the prayers of the saints and they descend with the answers. The first time the name Mount um, Bethel or house of God appeared in the scriptures was in Genesis chapter 28. When the Bible says the scripture talks about a man called Jacob. Jacob had a dream and he saw a ladder whose top reached up to heaven and the Bible says God was at the top of the ladder and angels were ascending and descending. Now I want you to note what happens here from that particular scripture in Genesis chapter 28. Now let's read Genesis 28 verse 12. One go. Now Jacob had a dream and a ladder was set up on the earth and the top of the ladder reached where? It reached where? And the angels of God were ascending and descending. Now, I want you to note the order. The Bible does not say the angels of God were descending and ascending. Under normal circumstance, if we are seeing angels, the angels should have been descending and... But here, the angels were ascending and descending. Why? Now, let's continue. Uh-huh. And behold, the Lord stood above it. Now, look at the picture. There was a ladder. And the Lord was at the top of the ladder. And angels were ascending to the Lord at the top of the ladder and descending. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Are you following it? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh huh. And said, I am the Lord, God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. Uh huh. Uh huh. Next verse. Mm -hmm. Skip, skip to the next verse quickly. Ne next verse. Go to the next verse. Now, then Jacob woke up. Shall we read one go? Uh huh. Surely. The Lord is in, in this place and I did not what? Jacob saw angels ascending and descending and he thought that place was a trivial place and he woke up from the dream and said, wow, the Lord is actually here and I did not know it. He said, surely this is what? He said, the Lord is in this place and I did not know. Next verse, next verse, next verse, follow me quickly please. And he was afraid and he said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than there. This is none other than there. So at every house of God, that was the first time the name house of God appeared in scripture. And at the house of God, Jacob said there was a ladder up to heaven and angels were ascending and descending. Somebody said they were ascending and descending. They were ascending. And he says, no, this is none other than the house of God. That means at every house of God, there are angels that ascend to God at the top of the ladder and they descend with answers. They ascend with what? They ascend with the prayers of the church and the sacrifices of the saints and to who? Who was at the top of the ladder? So they ascend to God with the prayers of the church and they descend with what? 
answers. So any time you come to the house of God, whether you meet a pastor or you don't meet any pastor, there are angels already at the altar ready to receive your prayers and your sacrifices and they will ascend with the prayers to God and by the time they are coming back, they shall come back with answers. So I need you to have a revelation that any time you step into the house of God, angels of God are already available. You don't need hands laid on you for a miracle to happen. Why? Because the angels of God are ready at Bethel. That is the house of God at Mount Zion to ascend to God with your prayers and descend with what? Are you hearing me? So you must walk with that revelation. That is why Jacob was saying, ah, so the Lord was here and I did not know it. Many of you think that the Lord is seen in the man of God or the miracle is effected when the man of God lay hands on you or or pour oil on you or shout at you and make all the noise and put saliva on your head. That is not how the miracle comes. As long as you enter into this auditorium, angels are already here to ascend with your prayers and to descend with answers. And some of you, you can come and receive nothing. Why? Because you are like Jacob. The Lord is here, but you don't know it. You you have not come to a place of having a revelation that God is in this place. Somebody, for some of you, if somebody doesn't touch you, you feel like you have not received an impartation. You don't need to be touched. Just have a revelation the angels of God are present today to do what? To ascend to God with your prayers and to descend with what? Answers. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. So Jacob said, for the Lord is in this place and I did not know it. So when you come to Mount Zion, there are angels ready to ascend with your prayers and to descend with answers. This morning, I pray for you. Yes. Every prayer that shall be lifted here. Yes. Angels of God shall ascend with their prayers. Yes. And by the time they are descending, you shall have a testimony. They shall descend with your testimony. They shall descend with your answers. If you are here, shout, I receive it. The angels of God are here to ascend with somebody's prayers. And to ascend with your sacrifices. He says, you have come to Mount Zion. To the city of the living God, to the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. Let's go back there. To the heavenly Jerusalem, to the general assembly and to the church of the firstborn, to the who are registered in heaven, to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Now, next verse, verse 24. That is where my message is. Everybody read loud and clear. One go. Uh huh. Now he says, when you come to the house of God, you have come to Jesus. And to the blood of the sprinkling, any time you come here, you have come to plead the blood. He says, you have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood of the sprinkling, that speaketh better things than the blood of who? Somebody say, the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus. Shout is it the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus. Shout is it the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus. Shout is it the blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus speaks. He says, when you come to the house of God, you have not just come to an ordinary place. You have come to Jesus. Number two, you have also come to a blood that is speaking. So anytime you enter here, the blood of Jesus begins to speak for you. It begins to speak for you. Amen. 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 It begins to what? Speak for you. And what is it speaking? Now let's go there. What does the blood of Jesus speak? Now the blood of Jesus speaks number one. It speaks preservation. By your being in this auditorium, if the enemy had possibly targeted anything against you, the blood of Jesus will begin to speak on your behalf. Amen. I receive it. Number two, the blood of Jesus speaks against the accuser. When the enemy accuses you in the court of heaven, the blood of Jesus acts as an atonement, atoning blood that speaks on your behalf. 
You see, in the court of heaven, before I come to preservation, let me talk about the atonement. The, in the court of heaven, the devil accuses every one of us. Because he, the devil looks at you and presents your case before God and says, look at this one, he's not correct. He comes to, when you are praying for a job, you are praying for a breakthrough, you are praying for something, the devil will go and tell God, so this one, you want to give him a job? Look at what he did yesterday. Look at what he did two days ago. He does not deserve that miracle. When, he, when the enemy is accusing you in the court of heaven, the Bible calls Jesus the advocate. When you read the book of First John 2, the Bible says Jesus is our advocate. So when the enemy is accusing you and I before God because of what we did, the blood of Jesus speaks and atone and appeases the wrath of God so that what we don't even deserve, we get it. Not because we qualify for it. because Not because we qualify for it or we deserve it. It's just because of the fact that Christ sacrificed his blood. Mm. So the blood is what speaks for us. For us to be able to get the things we don't even deserve. Mm. If not for the atoning blood that speaks on our behalf, ladies and gentlemen, there is absolutely nothing we shall receive from God. Amen. Guys, be fast, okay? Now let's go. Now let's read First John chapter two, verse one. Uh -huh. Let's read one. Go. Now let's read it. Uh, let's read this in the in the in the in the amplified. First John two. Shall we read one? Go. Uh huh. Now, this is John writing this epistle. Now, John, I was preaching this earlier today. I mean, we had a powerful service today at Rehoboth Spaces Ministries. And uh, Pastor John and Prophetess are here. Come on, appreciate them. Appreciate them. Yes. So, I have preached a first sermon, and I'm here coming to preach another sermon. Are you getting me? Yes. So, this is my second service. Are you getting me? Yeah. So, it's not a joke. And then Saturday we are still going to be preaching again and then come for men's fellowship and then go come go and sleep and come on Sunday morning, go there and then come back Sunday afternoon. The Lord help us. Yeah. Now let's continue. Now John is writing this epistle and he says, my little children, now I want you to follow me closely so that you don't miss it, okay? He says, my little children, dear believers, dear ones, I am writing these things to you so that you will not what? In other words, he knows that the little children, they sin. Oh, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Sir. He says, I'm writing these things to you so that you do not sin and violate God's law. And if anyone sins, we have who? Advocate. We have who? Advocate. You see, the more you communicate, the more you are able to assimilate what is happening. We have who? An advocate. Who will do what? Who will intercede for yeah. us? with the father. So he says I am writing these things to you so that you do not sin but in case you sin in the court of heaven we have someone called an advocate and the advocate is interceding for us with the father and when you go to the court of law there is something they require more called evidence somebody say evidence. evidence now with the evidence that Jesus has the gym, that evidence is what is used or presented in court to be so that the judge will acquaint you of whatever it is case that is being leveled against you the evidence every time come, can I get somebody two people here let me illustrate it quickly 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 now this man is say, say he's called Joshua and let's assume this one is the devil Let's assume he's not the devil. Now, Joshua, now this one is accusing Joshua before me. And who can be Jesus? Somebody come and act as Jesus. Yes. Jesus, this is a Jesus with a necklace. This is a, this is a more than Jesus. Now, Jesus, can I, I wish you get something to represent the blood. Get something, can I get um, 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 something to represent the blood? Yeah. Now, 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 okay, re can you remove this? Are we safe? If you remove, you are safe. Thank you. Now, now he shed his blood. So, ho hold it, stretch it. Okay, like this. See, this is Jesus. He sheds his blood. So now, the devil is accusing this man. Now, come stand this side so that you, yeah. The devil is accusing this man. 
this is the devil, and I am God. He's accusing this man before God. So that this man is praying for a job. He's praying for something big from the Lord. Now, this is what happens. So when this man starts praying, immediately the devil will start to present. Haven't you seen? I've seen him. Can I get a book? Can I get a book? A book, a book, a book. Yeah. So now, he begins to open the book and read to me what all the sins this man has committed that should disqualify him from getting anything he's praying for. Are you getting me? The devil is called the accuser of the brethren. In heaven, all that the devil is doing is to accuse you before God. So when this man is praying for something big, the devil starts reading the sins of this man. Are you getting me? But now the Bible says we have an in the court of heaven. And the advocate shed his blood. And the reason why he shed his blood is that if this man commits a sin, the blood will now speak on his behalf and cleanse him. The Bible said the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So anytime this man is praying, the accuser will come and present, he has done this, he has done this, he has done this, he has done this. Now Jesus will say, sir, I went down there. I shed my blood 2,000 years ago. And because of the blood, even though he does not deserve it, he does not deserve the job, he does not deserve the marriage, he does not deserve anything at all. But by the reason of the blood, yes. I shall give it to him. Can I tell you something? Yes. If you go to God right now, if not for the blood that was shed over 2,000 years ago, there is absolutely nothing any one of us can receive from God. God, but because of the atoning blood of the lamb yes. even though you are a murderer yes. even though you are a fornicator yes. even though you are all the things that we can put together mm. God still looks at you even though you don't deserve it he says I shall give you Amen. 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 now he says now now, shall we read first John 7? Then we go back quickly to the scripture. Two. Shall we read first John um, um, 1 7? Shall we read one go? Uh, everybody, read it like your voice is yours. One go. Uh huh. Now this, I want you to read the second part loud and clear. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from, from some sins. He says the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. By doing what? By erasing the stain of sin, keeping us cleansed from sin in all its forms and what? manifestations so even though this man committed so many sins the blood starts to speak and the blood washes him cleanses him from every sin all forms of sin and even its manifestations so when this one is coming to the court of heaven because the blood has washed him yes. and the blood is speaking for him this devil is presenting all the sins he has sins but the blood speaks on his behalf. So what he does not even deserve, he gets it because the blood is what? Speaking. Amen. And you see, he didn't say the blood spoke. It is a continuous present tense. The blood speaks today. It will speak tomorrow. It will speak the next day. Anytime you appear before God, there is an atoning blood in heaven that speaks on your behalf. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Yeah, so because of the sins of this man and the devil coming with all the accusations, God would have released wrath and judgment over this one for all the sins he has committed. But the blood, when God is about to hold, release judgment. Now, use the blood to block me. When God is about to release judgment over him, the blood literally holds back the hand of God. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you hearing me? Now go to verse 2. It is in the Bible. Just that you don't read your Bible. So you don't know it. Read one go. Now I want you everybody read it loud and clear. One go. And. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The atoning sacrifice. 
that holds back the wrath of God that would have otherwise been directed at us because of our glory be to God. Are you getting the scripture? Yes. He say, and he that same Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. Jesus, now he's explaining the word propitiation because if your English teacher died early, you will not understand what propitiation means. He said, that same Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. The atoning sacrifice that does what? That holds back the wrath of God that would have otherwise been directed at us because of what? So the, at the, the blood of Christ, when, G, when God wants to release his wrath, the blood speaks against the wrath of God. So the wrath that was supposed to be directed to him, it does not get to him because of what? The blood. Are you getting the revelation? Any time the enemy brings an accusation about you before God, the blood speaks on your behalf. 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 Yes. And today I make a prayer over you. Yes. Whatever even that you don't deserve. Yes. By the speaking of the blood. Yes. By the speaking power of the blood. Yes. May God release it unto you. Amen. May Jehovah release it unto you. By the reason of the blood. Yeah. Somebody shout the blood. The blood. Shout, shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. If God was to look at you, there is nothing He will give you. But the reason why He gives you everything that you don't even deserve is because of what the blood. So the blood is an evidence in the court of heaven. Anybody that runs to Christ. His blood speaks for you every day and every time in the courts of heaven. That when something goes wrong and the wrath of God is about to come upon you, the blood speaks on your behalf. 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 He said that same Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. The atoning sacrifice that holds back the wrath of God that would have what? That would otherwise been directed at us. See, in the olden days, when you commit a sin, the earth can open and swallow you up. In the olden days, it was instant justice. But because of the blood, come on, put your hands together for the blood. And hear me, hear me, hear me. That is why when we pray, we don't pray in the name of who's. You pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus said in John chapter 14 verses 13 he says and whatsoever you ask the father in my name I will do why he will do because of what not because of you because of the name are you hearing me he says and I will do whatever you ask in now give me New King James quickly please or King James shall we read one go So when you go to God in prayer, you ask in the name of who? Jesus. You ask in the name of who? You ask in the name of who? And he says, whatever you ask in my name. He, the emphasis there is whatever. Somebody shout whatever. Whatever. Shout whatever. Whatever. The scripture does not limit the things you ask to some things. He, it is an open check. He says, whatever you ask in my name somebody can ask a private jet this morning i declare over you yes whatever you ask the father yes i prophesy and declare yes may it be released Release. may it be released Release. i said may it be released Release. may somebody begin to claim for a new house right now Amen. May your new house be released. I receive. May your new job be released. I receive. May your promotion be released. I receive. May that prophetic anointing you are desiring for, may it be released. I receive. Everything you are trusting Jehovah God for, yes. I command and declare yes. it is released right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Whatever you ask, whatever, and whatever is whatever. Lift up your right hand. In the next. 30 seconds, ask for something. Ask for something. In the next 30 seconds, this is a prophetic directive given by Jehovah to us that whatever we ask the Father, 
In the name of the Son, it shall be done. Come on, ask for something. In the next 30 seconds, ask for something. 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 We claim it. We declare it done in the name of Jesus. See, when you go to God in prayer, don't ask for small things. Sit down for a minute. He said, whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, it shall be done. So the blood speaks. Tell you never the blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks atonement on your behalf. The blood speaks, I mean, um, 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 forgiveness on your behalf. The blood literally speaks for you and speaks to counter every wrath that the enemy, when God would have, I beg your pardon, every wrath that God would have that otherwise been released against you because of the things you have done. He looks at the blood of Christ and says, because of what Christ did, the, your sins are eroded. Are you getting me? Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's go to the next one. Thank you, gentlemen. Say, somebody shout, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shout it, say, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shout it, say, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shout it, say, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shout it, say, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shout it, say, the blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The next thing that the blood speaks is that it speaks protection. Somebody shout protection. Protection. Shout protection. Protection. Now, you see, the night that Jesus died, um, the night that the children of Israel um, crossed over Egypt, from Egypt into the promised land, the night that they began their journey, it was called the night of the Passover. So tell your neighbor, say the Passover. Passover. And it was an, um, 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 a typology of uh, the Lord's Supper, the night before Jesus was crucified. The night that Jesus was crucified, the Bible says he picked bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body. Eat this in remembrance of me. And he picked wine and lifted it up and said, drink this. He said, this is my blood in the New Testament. Drink this in remembrance of me. The blood that was given to the disciples at the Lord's Supper, at the last night before Jesus was crucified, it was what the God was trying to illustrate to the Israelites before they left Egypt into the promised land. Now, when you read the book of Exodus, the Bible said that the night before they proceeded, um, um, they left um, Egypt, the Bible, God asked each house to take a lamp. Kill a lamp and apply the blood at their doorpost. Yesterday I shared that, right? Yes. Those of you that were here yesterday. They were to apply the blood of the lamp at their doorpost. Now, hear this and hear this well. Now, each house that applied the blood, there was, the Bible says the angel of destruction was going to pass by the house, was going to pass by Egypt. Any house that had the blood was preserved. Any house that did not have the blood, judgment was executed against that house. Go to Exodus chapter 12. Guys, let's be fast. Okay, when I speak, you follow me so that we can run faster. Yeah? Yes, Exodus 12. Now, shall we read one go? Now, God asked them that each house should apply the blood on their house. And when he says, when he sees the blood, that he will not allow the destruction. Now, put this for me in Amplified, quickly. Put this for me in Amplified. Shall we read one go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now he said, the blood shall be a sign for you on the doorposts of the houses where you live. Each Israelite was to apply the blood on the doorposts. And when the angel that was striking the people sees the blood, he said he will what? Passover. Tell your neighbor and say Passover. Passover. Shout it and say Passover. Passover. Shout it and say Passover. Passover. Shout it and say Passover. Passover. And that the, red, the, the word Passover is actually in simple terms Passover. When the angels saw the blood, the blood we have understood according to Hebrews chapter 12 that the blood speaks. You remember? In Hebrews 12 that the blood of Jesus what? Speaks better things, isn't it? So the blood that they applied at the adopus was a typology of the blood of the lamb. 
And so when the angel that was striking the people saw the blood of the Israelites, that blood communicated to the angel that was striking the people that this is the house of a child of God. There was a communication between the blood and the angel that was striking the people. So immediately the angel sees the blood. The blood will speak to the angel and the angel will what? Pass over. So the angel goes to the next house, does not see the blood, enters the house and strike people in the house. So God says, when I see the blood, I shall pass over and no affliction shall happen to you. Can I pray for you? Yes. by the reason of the blood yes you, you you have not just applied the blood of a lamp the blood of Christ is a seal upon your life. Yes. And by the reason of that blood, yes. no affliction shall come over you. When judgment is being executed in Kenya, yes. when evil is passing around, yes. the Lord shall cause that evil to pass over you. Evil shall pass over you. Sickness shall pass over you. Premature death shall pass over you. Poverty shall pass over you. Anything assigned against you, Yes. We decree by the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Yes. May it pass over. Pass May, over. It pass over. Pass May it pass over. 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 In the name of Jesus. Pass over means what? Pass over. It will pass you and go to the next person. That's why I always say I cannot die premature. Why? Because I know I have the seal of the blood upon my life. There is no way I can die premature. When premature death is coming, it shall what? Pass over. When poverty is coming to your house, it shall what? Pass over. When strange sicknesses are coming to your house, it shall what? Pass over. Because of the blood. The blood speaks over your life. Amen. When evil is coming to you, the blood will communicate to that evil and Pass. say, this is a wrong address. Yes. Back to sender. Back to sender. You didn't get it okay in those days when you write a letter and it comes it goes to the wrong address you put the wrong address they do what they send it back to what to send out if the enemy sends disease to your house mm. because your address is marked with the blood yes when it gets to that address yes the enemy will be told yes this is the house of david yes back to sender when the enemy sends premature death to your children yes. because of the blood at the door yes. the blood will speak to them that, that premature death yes. and tell that premature death yes. this is the house of a child of God yes. back to, to sender I lift a prayer over you yes. Yes. in the name of Jesus yes. evil shall not come to your household I poverty shall not come to your household pain shall not come to your household anything assigned against your household yes. we declare back to sender back to sender back to sender back to sender now I want you to appropriate the power in the blood shout by the reason of the power in the blood by, by the, the reason of the power in the blood. Any evil sent to me and my household. Any evil sent to me and my household. Back to sender. Back to sender. Because the Bible is assuring us that by the reason of the blood, the destroyer shall not destroy us. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the scripture says. God says, I will not allow the destroyer to touch you because of the fact that there is blood at your door. Amen. Now skip to verse 23. Verse 23. Verse 23. Exodus 12, 23. Exodus 12, 23. Shall we read one go? Who will pass over? The Lord. The Lord will pass through and strike the Egyptians. And when he, he sees the blood, do you have the blood on you? Yes. Say the blood is on me. The blood is on me. Uh -huh. When he sees the blood, uh huh. Uh -huh. Let's all read from that comma. The Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come into your house. Uh, when the Lord sees the blood, the destroyer shall not be allowed. Oh my God. The destroyer shall not be what? Allowed to enter into your house after today. 
Yes. By the reason of the blood, yes. your entire household is preserved. Yes. Your entire household is preserved. Yes. Your entire household is preserved. Yes. Your entire household is preserved yes. because of the blood. Can I tell you something? I want you to connect with the revelation that by the reason of the blood, it doesn't matter what happens. You see, other people in Egypt were dying. They are their, 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 their animals were dying. The first ones of their animals were dying. But any child of God that had the blood didn't what? Can I tell you something? Yes. By the reason of the fact that you have the blood, yes. it yes. doesn't matter who dies or who doesn't die. Yes. You, you shall not die premature. Your children shall not die premature. Evil shall not enter your household. The destroyer shall not come to your house. Yes. By the reason of the Blood. blood. Somebody shout the blood speaks. The, the blood. Speaks. The reason is this: when the destroyer is about to enter your house, the blood will speak and say, "This is the child of God. You cannot enter. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. May the blood deny the devil access to your house. Deny the devil access to your business. Deny the devil access to your home. If you are here, shout the blood. Shout the blood. Shout the blood. Shout the blood." I will see. The devil is denied access. Somebody shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. Shout the blood. The blood. The blood. You see, the blood is the last card in heaven. When every weapon of war fails, apply the blood. Amen. The Bible says, and they overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony what makes you overcome weapons of the enemy is the blood when there is war released against you you go to in prayer and you appropriate and invoke the blood and the blood will begin to speak on your behalf uh. they overcame him by the blood of the lamb has the blood of the lamb been shed every one of us has access to that blood. So in prayer you declare, I invoke the blood over my children. Yes. I invoke the blood over my home. Yes. I invoke the blood over my house. Yes. I decree and declare, by yes. the talking of the blood, yes. let my house be preserved. Preserve. Let my home be preserved. Preserve. Let my business be preserved. Preserve. You invoke the, the blood. blood. Amen. See, I told you, I mean, my father was a preacher and there is one thing that he taught me is the blood. Say, I'm telling you, anybody say the blood. The, the blood. blood. He, tell, he always used to tell me, David, anytime you get to a difficult moment, invoke the blood. Because in heaven, you see, the last um, miracle that Moses performed for the Israelites to come out of Egypt was the one of what? The blood of the lamb. When they killed the lamb and applied the blood, that was the last miracle. The devil had to allow the Egyptians to go. Amen. When you get to that difficult place when nothing seems to work, yes. invoke the blood. Amen. Because it's the last card in the in, in the weapons of war in the spirit. When you invoke the power in the blood, things begin to shift on your behalf. Amen. Say we invoke the blood. Shall we invoke the blood? Shall we invoke the blood? We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. Let me tell you one thing. You see, in in, the Bible says that in, 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 in the Old Testament, the, the Bible said there shall be no remission of sins. Without, the Bible said without the shedding of blood, there is no what? Remission of sins. See, the blood signifies, um, it signifies something like um, 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 an endorsement or an approval for what Christ has done. And every drop of blood that came out of Jesus activated a blessing for us. Did you hear what I said? Yes. You see, when you are signing a contract, those of you that you sign a contract, I mean, you sign a contract, they say, sign this page, sign that page, sign that page. Every page has something that it signifies. The next page signifies something. The next page talks about something about the contract. You append your signature everywhere you are required to sign. Now, every place you sign, because you appended your signature, the contract is now binding. Are you getting me? Now, anytime Jesus' blood came out of him, it endorsed and, 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 
uh, approved a certain blessing in the spirit for you. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. The blood that Jesus, you know, when Jesus was being crucified, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says that he went to the garden of Gethsemane. And in the garden of Gethsemane, he began to pray before he, he went to the cross. And he prayed and prayed until blood precipitated through his sweat glands. And he went through what is known as hemohydrolysis. Blood literally precipitated through his sweat glands. And blood came out instead of sweat. Now that blood that came out from his forehead established a certain covenant for you and I. What was it? Now in the book of Genesis, when man sinned, thank you God, the Bible says God cursed man and said by the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread. Ah. God cursed man in the garden of Eden and God said by the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread. So before Jesus went to the cross, Jesus said before I go to the cross, yes. I need to break this curse. Yes. So he went into prayer and as he began to pray, yes. blood began to come. Instead ah. of sweat coming, blood was coming out. Yes. The blood was to nullify ah, nah, the nah, nah, curse nah, nah, that was pronounced over man. Ah. So God established a revelation here. Yeah. Jesus was saying it shall no longer be by the sweats for ah. man to eat bread. It shall be by the, the it shall be by the, the blood. blood. By the blood, I enjoy my blessing. By the blood, you shall have your prosperity. Yes. By the blood, you yes. shall buy a car. Arfim. By the blood, Arfim. you shall build a house. Arfim. It shall not be by the sweat Arfim. of your face. Yes. It shall be by the, the blood. blood. Jesus has changed blood. the sweat that we are supposed to sweat right. with his blood. Are you getting me? Yes. Are you following me? Yes. yes. So no longer, see this thing of, you have to sweat and sweat and sweat before you make it. No. If you can appropriate the blood, yes. if you can the invoke blood. the blood, yes. things blood. will begin to shift for you. Yes. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We enforce the talking of the blood yes. and we decree and declare in yes. the name of Jesus yes. by the reason of the blood, 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 yes. Yes. we decree and declare from today, may you prosper. I you see. shall prosper through the blood. I you see. shall buy your car through the blood. I you see. shall build your house through the blood. I you see. shall get your possessions through the, the blood. blood. I receive. So the blood that came out of Jesus' forehead canceled the curse in the garden. God said by your sweat you shall eat bread. Yes. That is why blood needed to come out of Jesus' forehead. Uh -huh. Number two, when Jesus was going to the cross, the Bible said they made tongues and thistles. A crown, and they put a crown of tongues and thistles, and they crushed it on his head. Now you see, tongues and thistles were not supposed to, were not part of the creation of God. Tongues and thistles came as a result of the curse. Are you hearing me? Are you following me? When God said, now let's go to Genesis 2, when God cursed the ground. Now, when God cursed the ground, he said, tons and thistles shall the earth bring forth. And from there, tons and thistles started coming out. Not because God actually wanted them to grow, but just because of the fact that it was part of the curse. Genesis chapter 3. Um, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's go. Give me, give me, give me, give me two. Genesis 2 9, huh? Let's read one go. Genesis chapter 3 verse 18 let's start from verses verses 15 and then we run down Genesis 3 quickly 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 uh -huh. mm -hmm. now this is the case God plays between man and the snake and the devil are you getting me yes verse uh -huh. next verse then the next case. In pain you shall bring forth children. 
He said back, he go back. He said, both tongues and tessels it shall bring forth for you. So the tongues and tessels that the earth brought forth was because of the curse that God pronounced over the earth. Mm. So when Jesus was going to the cross, the soldiers made a crown of the things that came out as a result of the curse and put it upon his head. When they put the tongues and tassels on his head and pressed it down, blood began to come out. Mm. And the blood that came out canceled this curse. Oh. Anytime blood comes out, oh, even the blood of bulls and goats were used to cleanse sins in the olden days. And the blood of Christ was every single whose own of blood that came out of him canceled and activated a certain blessing. The blessing that, that the blood that came out of the tongues and tessels canceled the curse of the land. In other words, from now, you shall not struggle to enjoy anything from this land. Amen. By the reason of the blood, yeah. you shall enjoy every blessing that is meant to come out for you. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive Can it. Can I declare over you? Yes. yes. See, the Bible says that um, 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 if, if, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways, then will I what? Heal, hear from heaven and do what? And heal their land. Now, the land there is a spiritual land. Every one of you, when you work, your efforts, any efforts you put towards something, it goes to what we call your spiritual ground. When you are when you are do, working towards a business to set it up, to, to, to get a job or to do what? All those efforts is going to something called your spiritual ground. So when your ground is healed, your what your efforts comes out with results. When your ground is not healed, you it doesn't matter the effort you put. There is no results that comes out. So when the Lord cares the ground, it was He was not just talking about the physical ground. He was talking about the land, the spiritual ground also, where our efforts go. So when the Lord Jesus crown was put on His head and the tassel signifying the curse was put on His head, He carry the curse of the ground both physical ground and spiritual ground that means that from now your efforts are meant to yield resource Amen. anything you do it must come out with resource yeah. Yeah. there are certain people here you work so hard like an elephant yeah. but you eat like an ant yeah. by the reason of the blood yes. by the reason of the blood that came out of Jesus' head yes. I make a prayer for you yes. any curse of you over your ground yes. the curse is the curse is broken. 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 From today, your effort shall yield results. I said 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 your effort shall yield results. If you are here, shout I receive it. I receive it. Shout every curse. Every curse. Shout every curse. Every curse. Every curse. Every curse. That was pronounced over me. That was pronounced over me. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. Now, the curse on the land brought tongues and tassels. And Jesus carried all of them on his head. Are you getting me? Yes. So any curse, anybody curse you on this land, it was carried on the master's head. Amen. The blood that came out of his head yes. nullified every single curse. Mm. So when somebody curses you, you appropriate the power in the blood. Hayamago yes. Shalabaya. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any curse pronounced over me. Any curse pronounced over me. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. It's nullified. Now, watch me. Am I sweating? What am I using to clean the sweat? 
the towel. This one, this towel, right? So where has the sweat gone? The sweat has been absorbed by the towel. This, can, 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 is sweat coming out here? No. no. But I'm sweating and I'm cleaning myself with the towel. The sweat has absorbed. The, sorry, the towel has absorbed the sweat. That is what the blood of Jesus did according to the Bible. The Bible says the blood of the lamb, the blood of Christ absorbed every case. Amen. Oh, it's in your Bible. Just that you don't read it. Give me Galatians chapter 3. Verses 13 to 14. Give me from the message Bible. The Bible said the blood absorbed. Jesus absorbed every case. Galatians 3, 13 to 14 in the message. Shall we read one go? Everybody read it loud and clear. If your neighbor is sleeping, just slap them a little and tell them, wake up and read the Bible. Wake up, wake up and read the Bible. Uh -huh. Let's go. Uh-huh. Shall we read one go? Christ redeemed us by absorbing it completely into him. Sir. Read it again. One go. Christ redeemed us from the self-defeating cursed life by doing that. By absorbing it into himself. I decree and declare yes. every curse that was pronounced over yes. you, yes. it has been absorbed by the blood. Uh, it has been absorbed, absorbed, uh, absorbed. Absolutely. If your ex-husband curses you, the curse is absorbed. absorbed. If your ex-wife curses you, the curse is absorbed. Yeah. If your ex-boyfriend curses you, the curse is absorbed. absorbed. If your ex-girlfriend curses you, the curse is absorbed. If your former bishop curses you, the curse is absorbed. Yeah. If your former prophet curses you, the curse is absorbed. You see, well, that's why I use the, the towel as an example. When the towel absorbs the sweat, you don't see the sweat anymore. Can I tell you something? Yes. Any case that was pronounced over you, yes. you shall not see it anymore. I, I said you shall not see that case anymore. I the see. case is absolved. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Say Christ has redeemed us from the self-defeating case like by absorbing it completely into himself. Shall we read? Do you remember the scripture that says curse is everyone who that is what happened when Christ was nailed to the cross. He became and at the same time dissolved the curse. Christ hey. has dissolved your curse. Amen. Oh, I, I wish I came to church. Some of you, you are not okay. spiritual. You don't even yes. understand the word of God. Hey. Christ hey. became the curse and he dissolved the curse. The curse against your marriage is dissolved. Amen. The curse against your destiny is dissolved. Amen. Any curse that was pronounced over you, it yes. is dissolved. 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 Completely. Amen. It shall not be seen any longer. Amen. I said the curse is dissolved. Amen. I said the curse is dissolved. 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 Any curse that was supposed to that was supposed to come upon you. Maybe the curse in your family is that nobody gets married. From today, understand because of what Christ did, the curse is what? Dissolved. The curse is what? Dissolved. Yes, I understand. You did it. That is why the person cursed you. And that is why Christ also came. He said the curse is dissolved. dissolved. Number one, he absorbed it into himself and he dissolved it. It shall no longer come upon you any longer. Shout, the curse is dissolved. The curse is dissolved. Shout, the curse is dissolved. The curse is dissolved. After the curse is dissolved, now see the blessing that is going to come upon you. Now read one go. And now, because of that, so oh, shall we read? Can we read one go? We are all able to receive God's life, His Spirit, in and with us by believing. Glory be every blessing that Abraham received. Yes. He says it is now present for us also. 
Amen. In the same way it came upon him, yes. it is coming upon you. I 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 if you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive shout, it. I receive it. I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. The curse is broken. Now you are a seed of Abraham. Get ready to prosper. I receive. I said, 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 get ready to prosper. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Let me give you two more points and then we can pray. Now, the blood that came from his back. The Bible said, by his stripes, we were what? We were what? We were what? Jesus took 39 stripes at his back. Boom. Boom. 39. Now, Josephus, a great Bible scholar, said that hardened criminals could not even take up to three of those stripes because those stripes were not just canes. They were metallic bars that had things like needles. So when they hit you like this, it comes out as they are lifting it. Your flesh pulls out. Are you getting me? So every hit brings out flesh and blood from your skin. And Jesus took 39 of those hard stripes at his back. And prophetically, why 39? Why not 42 or 12 or 13 or something? The reason why they just said took 39 stripes at his back. The Bible says by his um, by the wounds, he said, but for but but he was wounded for our he was bruised for our and the chastisement of our peace was upon. And by his stripes we are yeah. by what we are healed? By his stripes. The stripes at his back. The blood that came out of it is what activated our healing. And why 39? 39 because medical science categories all diseases into 39 different categories. So every stripes took care of one category. Boom! One category was taken care of. Boom, the second category. All the 39 categories of diseases was dealt with at his back. That is why the stripes were 39 and not 42. Every single stripes took care of every, of every category of disease. So it doesn't matter the disease that comes against you. Yes. That disease is, was dealt with by Jesus at his back. And by the reason of that we declare May every infirmity in your body, yes. every disease in your body, yes. may it be healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what it is that the enemy has done against you. I declare you are healed. I receive. I like the New Living Translation. Uh, put it for me. Uh, New Living Translation, Isaiah 54. Read it one go. But he was wounded and crushed for our sins. So when he was wounded, the wounds on his body, the blood that came out was dealing with our... Are you getting me? Every single blood that came out of Jesus was dealing with one thing for us. Are you getting the revelation? Every single blood. In fact, when he, the, his, his beard was brought out, blood came out. I don't have time to go into that. The blood that came out of his beard established our honor. You see, in the, the old Jewish custom, your beard signifies your honor. So the Bible said they pulled his beard. And when they pulled his beard, blood came out. That, that blood that came out established honor and glory for us. So any one of you that the enemy tries to disgrace yes. by the reason of the blood that came out of his beard, yes. honor shall come back to you. I that is why sometimes when the enemy thinks he's destroying a child of God, disgracing them somehow, it still works to the advantage. Why? Because the blood that came out of Jesus' beard it was establishing a kind, cutting a covenant to bring honor to God's people. I lift a prayer over you. Yes. yes. By the blood that came out of his beard. Yes. Ah, may honor come back to you. I receive. May honor come back to you. I receive. May honor come back to you. I receive. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Let's read the scripture on the screen. One go. Uh huh. Uh huh. He was whipped and we were. 
healed. So his weeping brought us our healing. So every single ounce of blood that came out of Jesus' body established a certain blessing for us. Are you getting the revelation now? Yes. Are you getting where we are going? E yes. Now let me give you just one last thing and then we can go. Let's go to the scripture, um, Romans 5. Romans 5. You see, before, let me say this, I, I will not get into it. Before, before Jesus died, the Bible said the Roman soldiers pierced his side. How many of you know that? They pierced his side. And scripture says blood and water came out. Blood and what? Water. Blood and what? Blood. blood and water came out. The blood that came out of his side cut a blessing, established a blessing for you and I. You see, the blood that came out of his side, it was through that blood that salvation came. See, through that blood, every one of us received a new life. Through that blood, that is how we are called. We were born again. Somebody say born again. Born again. I'm going to bring it home. Say born again. Born again. Now shout it. Say born again. Born again. Shout it. Say born again. Born again. Can I explain something to you? Yes. Doctor. You see when you when a woman goes into labor and the woman is about to deliver what comes out what? Water. Water. The water breaks out and later when the child is coming out you see what? Blood. blood in the same way when Jesus was giving birth to the church hey, water hey, came hey, out hey, from hey, his hey, side hey, hey, hey. and blood came out from his side yes so the, when they pierced his side that was what signified that he was dead they pierced his side to signify that Christ was dead mm. immediately they pierced his side blood now the Bible said, but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and blood and water what came out. Now the blood, the water that came, came out and blood that came out signifies that the church of God was being born. Amen. Because when a child is being born, water comes out and blood comes out. You see, when the, the Bible says, through by the first Adam, all men became sinners. And by the last Adam, righteousness was also made available to all men. How did the first, how did I mean, how did, was um, um, the first, the second human being created? From the side of Adam. The Bible said God made Adam sleep and he took a rib from his side and created Eve. So when the second Adam also was hanging on the cross and God also wanted to create new people, mm. he had to cut his side. Hey. The same place. Yes. That the, oh my God. I hey, wish hey, I had hey, people hey, that uh, understand Revelation. Are you getting something here? Yes. Are you getting something here? Yes. yes. The same side that Eve came out yes. is the same side that we all came, came out. out. The same side that Eve came out and through Eve sin came. The same side that we came out and salvation came. I came to declare unto you, yes. you are too far away from hell. Yes. You are too far away from hell. You were born out of the side yes. through blood and water. And I declare over you in the name of Jesus. Yes. By the reason of the blood that was shed on the cross, yes. your salvation is secure. 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 If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. You were not just born. You were born from the side. Amen. When he pierced the side, you came out. I came out. Elizabeth came out. Colin came out. Wycliffe came out. Lanya came out. When he pierced the side, all of us came out. Leave me Gazua Tataya. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. We came out from his side. We came out we from, came from his side. side. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes. Sir. Now let's go. Let's go. Let me cry. Let's try and round up. Give me job. Shall we be upstanding? Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding so that I don't continue preaching. Let's everyone let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Let's be upstanding. Romans 5. Romans 5. Shall we read one go? Mm -hmm. Say therefore, go back. 
Therefore, having been justified by, we have what? We have peace with God through who? Our Lord Jesus Our Christ. peace comes through who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood. From today, may the peace of God begin to be established over your life. Uh, may you not be overwhelmed by any situation. I receive. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding begin to come upon your life. I receive. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. He said, therefore, we are justified by faith and we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Next verse. Uh huh. Through whom we also have what? We also have what? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. One day I was I was I was asked to go see a certain CS and then um see the, my guy told me when you go mention your name, say you are prophet David Owusu. You are coming to see. So me, I went. I didn't have any appointment. So when I got there, I talked nicely. Uh, my name is David to the receptionist. Um, I've come to see the CS. Says the lady goes through a paper. Uh, says I've checked. You don't have any appointment here. So please go and f I mean plan and get an appointment so that you can be able to see the boss. So I went back. I called my guy. Me, they said I don't have appointment, so they will know. Says did you mention your name? I said yes. He said what? He says no, no. Nah mention your full name. So I went back. The woman said, Sir, I said there is no appointment. You don't have an appointment. I said, My name is David Owusu. He said, My name is Prophet. He said, David Owusu. said, Oh, sir. Sir, we are sorry. The boss is waiting for you. Now, by mentioning my name, the same time they said there is no appointment, they got, they got me what? An appointment. Can I pray for you? Yes. By the reason of the name of Jesus. Yes. May you have access. I receive. Oh, oh, oh. I said, may you have access. I receive. Divine access. I receive. To every place you desire. Yes. yes. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine, divine access. access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. Shout, I have divine access. I have divine access. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Now we are going to pray through the things about the six or seven points we have, have declared here. And we are going to declare them and enforce them and invoke the blood upon our lives. And then we shall be able to go home. Are you ready? Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I, I decree and declare. I am preserved. I am preserved. preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason, reason of the blood. My family is preserved. My, my family, family is preserved. preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason, reason of the blood. blood. My children are preserved. My children are preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. My household are preserved. My household are preserved. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the we are protected from all evil. We are protected from all by evil. the reason of the blood. By, by the reason, reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. The destroyer, shall not, the destroyer shall not assess my house. The destroyer shall not assess my house. The destroyer shall not assess my business. The destroyer shall not assess my home. The destroyer shall not assess my home. The destroyer shall not assess my home. As I lift up my voice in prayer. As I lift up my voice in prayer. We decree and declare. We decree and declare. Let every assignment of the enemy. Let every assignment of the enemy. Projected against our lives. Projected against Go back to sender. Go back to sender. We invoke the blood. 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 Lift up your voice. Come on down. Rata da da ba ko sha rata da. Rata da ya da ba ka da ba da rata da da ba sho. Shalala da rata da da ba ko sha rata da. Rata da 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 ba ko ya rata da 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 ba da. Rata da ya ka to da 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 ba sho da 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 ba ko. Rata da. Rada Rata ya sabran ta na mata, ala mata na makoriya ta, 
The destroyer is someone that wants to do everything in their capacity to destroy your ministry. Yes. The destroyer is somebody who is speaking ill against the little business you have. Yes. They think you have arrived and so you are priding yourself over them so they want to do everything so that you lose what you have. Ladies and gentlemen, the destroyers are available everywhere. But you are invoking the blood against every destroyer. Yes. Yes. Anybody seeking for your downfall, yes. wishing your evil, yes. wishing you to suffer, yes. wishing you to go down yes. anyone having secret meetings yes. in yes. secret offices yes. against your life yes. let the sword of God yes. begin to be released against them yes. come on lift up your voice <laughs>
has said the blood will speak for you. I I receive. Receive. It doesn't matter how hard it gets, the blood will speak, speak for, for me. Have you been there when the enemy puts you in a certain darkness? You don't even know how you are going to come out. Yes. But he will light up that shadow and come for you. He will climb every mountain and come for you. He will tear down every lie and yes. come for you. Yes. He will kick down every wall and yes. come for you. Yes. He will come for you. He will come for you. Amen. He will come for you. Amen. You are lifting up the next prayer. Yes. You are declaring over your life. Yes. That may the reason by the reason of the blood. Yes. May you have divine access. Divine. Somebody access. shall divine access. Divine access. Shall divine access. Divine access. Shall divine access. Divine access. Anything you want to you want to get, you want to assess. Any place you want to assess. See, in my mind, there is nothing like impossible. Once I set my heart to do something, yes. it happens. And because that is how I am conditioned, once I can imagine it in my mind that this thing is possible, it is possible. And I want you to have that mentality today that by the blood you shall assess any place you desire to go, any level, any dimension. You see, the blood word of the enemy. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. The blood does what? Okay, can I get six people? It's word, word of, it's English. What? Okay, they don't worry. The blood stops the enemy. Let me bring it home. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Now, three people line up here. Three people. It make like, um, yeah, good. Good. Now, another three stand here. Like, face these ones. Can I get um, uh, those um, um, short? Give me, give me. Quickly, quickly. Yes. This is for church, yeah? Or it's for you? church yes if it was for you 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 have to pray over it because you might never know now somebody shout the blood blood shout the blood the blood shout the blood the blood now can you spread yourself a bit space yourself a bit yeah thank you now let's assume this is the enemy's camp and can i get somebody at the end holding some money or something yes Hold this money. You are holding it. Yes, just hold it. Now, I want to assess that. Are you getting me? Yes. And you are here. And there are enemies all around. When you are, if you have the blood, if, let's assume I don't have the blood. Now, this enemy, if, as I go, you try to catch me. As I'm trying to assess it, they will stop me. Even if I try, they are still going to what? stop me. I cannot even go an inch. Why? Because the enemy is standing on the way. But the Bible says, and they overcame the devil. Once I have the blood of the lamb, and I am assessing it, when they see the blood, they fall off. When they see the blood, yes. they fall off. When they see the blood, they yes. fall off. When they see the blood, they fall off. Why? Because the Bible said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So the blood gives you access to victory. So before the enemy realizes yes. the blessing that I have targeted, yes. I am able to receive it. Why? Because I am walking by the talking of the blood. Amen. Today I declare over your life. Yes. Any place you desire to access. Yes. The Bible says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb as the blood was shed over 2024 years ago yes. a day like this yes. we appropriate the blood yes. we appropriate the blood yes. we appropriate the blood yes. we invoke the blood over yes. your life yes. by the blood you shall get there by the blood you shall get to the top by the blood you shall advance by the blood you shall advance in the level you desire to get to yes. we invoke the blood yes. we invoke the blood yes. we invoke the blood we invoke the blood we invoke the blood. We invoke the blood. Yes. To the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest body. Oh, the blood. 
that gives me strength from day to day he to never lose his power oh it reaches The Bible said they overcame him by the blood. Yes. You shall overcome every opposition on your way by the blood. Amen. Are you hearing me? Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of by Jesus. The blood, by the blood. By the blood. I assess. I assess my possessions. My possessions. By the blood. By the blood. I ascend. I ascend to the highest level. To the highest level. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood. I assess. I assess my possessions. My possessions. As I lift up my voice in prayer. As I, lift up my voice I assess my possessions. By the blood. Come on, lift up your voice. Yes. 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 Yes.
We are says, 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 we are we are we are See. Now we are asse- we are about to assess the spirit. Somebody say assess the spirit. Assess, assess the, spirit. the spirit. From now, your eyes will open in the spirit. Amen. Yes. Yes. Oh my God! I wish I came to church. Your ears will hear in the spirit. I yes. receive it. If you are here, shout! I receive it. I receive it. You shall have prophetic insight. I receive. Prophetic insight. I receive it. Prophetic insight. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Prophetic insight. I receive. You shall see by the reason of the blood. I receive. You will hear by the reason of the blood. I receive. Your marriage shall come by the reason of the blood. I receive. Your the deliverance of your children shall come by the reason of the blood. I receive. Your household shall be delivered by I the blood. Yes. We assess deliverance in we the name of Jesus. You are going to assess jobs by the blood. I receive. Within the next three months, get ready for uncommon doors. I receive. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What no one thought it could happen unto you. Yes. God is going to make it happen. I receive. Say, I assess the spirit realm. I assess the spirit by the blood. By the blood. Are you ready to assess the spirit? Yes. Your spiritual senses are going to be activated. I receive. Your spiritual senses are going to be activated. I receive. You shall see in the spirit. I receive. You shall hear in the spirit. I receive. Shout by the blood. 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 Access the spirit. Access the spirit. Say my eyes are opening. My eyes are opening. My ears are opening. My ears are opening. My spirit is perceiving. My spirit by the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. Have your voice. Access the spirit. Let's go, 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 let's go
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We assess. We assess. We assess. We assess. The spirit. The spirit. By the blood. By the blood. We assess. We assess. Our destiny. Our destiny. By the blood. By the blood. Say whatever God. Whatever God has said concerning my life. Concerning my life. I declare. I declare. It is manifested. It is manifested. By the blood. By the blood. I manifest. First, I manifest. I manifest. I manifest. Divine agenda. Divine agenda. Divine agenda. Divine agenda. Divine agenda. Divine agenda. Divine purpose for my life in the name of Jesus. Shout! I assess open doors. I assess open doors. Shout! I assess open doors. I assess open doors. Shout! I assess open doors. I assess open doors. Shout! I assess open doors. I assess open doors. Shout! I assess open doors. I assess open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every door that you need to assess. Yes. I declare from today you shall begin to assess. I receive. You shall begin to assess. I assess. You shall begin to assess. I assess. You shall begin to assess. I assess. Any business that needs to open unto you. Yes. It is opening. Open. Opening. Open. Opening. Open. Opening. Open. Opening. Open. In the name of Jesus. Bible says the blood that came out of. We, scripture makes us understand that that blood did what? It crushed the curse of struggle and poverty. God cursed man and said, by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. So when Jesus was going to the cross, he also made sure blood came out instead of sweat to counter and nullify that curse. Life should not be that difficult. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You can assess any amount of wealth you want to assess. You are going to get it by the blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood. Shout it, say the blood. The blood. See the way we pray here like madmen. It cannot be, you know, I mean, who was I speaking to this week? And the person told me, yeah, uh, uh, a pastor came to see me and uh, this week, uh, was, it, it was it this morning or yesterday? He said to me, I admire the way you pray you do it every morning you are praying and he says there is no way you cannot have results the way you pray if if you were not getting results that, that means something was wrong the way we pray like mad men god will bless us Amen. oh i'm telling you no Amen. the bible says god is not unjust yes. to forget yes. your labor yes so the way we are laboring here Sometimes you sleep two hours, six, you are here, five, seven a.m. You are here. We are here to pray. And you think God will just allow us to go like that? No. He will bless us. I can assure you. Amen. We shall be tremendously and dangerously blessed. Amen. Tell anybody we shall be dangerously blessed. We shall, shall be dangerously blessed. blessed. You see, your sacrifice to come here to even wait on God, it is something that attracts the hand of God into your life. Amen. Because you could have been sleeping on your bed. 